Hello everyone, Crazy Canuck here again on a beautiful Saskatchewan day. Minus 19 degrees Celsius, minus 28 wind chill. So, I think I'll do a little indoor project again. A uh, little update from the container garden. So if you all remember the uh, container I set up a while back with the onions and potatoes, the onions and potatoes have started to come up. There's one over here. There's another another one over here. There's some potatoes in the middle. I even planted a few peas after the fact. Uh, they're not up yet. So generally it's time to get some light on here. <clears throat> now, now because I only have two grow lights of the Hidden Harvest variety, I uh, took one of those out of my grow chamber and we're going to be putting it in this container. So what we're going to need, besides the grow light, is some way to support that light. And I'm going to use rebar. So what I have done is I've put little pieces of copper pipe on top. This is, uh, I believe, 3 8 rebar and the little pieces of half inch copper pipe. Like right now they would slip all the way through. But the clips on the grow light hangers will slide in there and keep them from actually going all the way down. So I'll get this set up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got them in on uh, basically four corners of the circle and have put the hangers clipped in on the top of these pipes and as you can see it just jams itself in there and now all I have to do is find a way to attach these to the mounts on the light and we will be in business and I'll show you what I'm doing with that okay so I got the three in here so now I'll uh, I'll just do one for you to show you what I was doing I was just taking the old zippy tie here going in through the mount bracket times like this you almost need three hands bring it up nice and level and then just to tidy things up a bit just trim them all back and there you have it the uh, light is mounted so now we'll do uh, get it plugged in And of course I'm three inches away from the outlet. I'll just move this in place and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, I've got it in place. Now we'll get it all lit up. And there you have it. You've got some light on the plants. Which will make it a lot easier to see them once they start growing. And of course this is the hidden harvest uh, grow light and I've noticed uh, once I got this set up it's not exactly stable so I am going to do a little modification here and I'll be right back and show you what I got planned oh yeah here's what I came up with I'm just going to level these up Work around the camera. There we go. And my favorite go to is zippy ties. Better than duct tape. Tighten that in. 
and they're now stable. Now one more thing I'm going to have to do with this is possibly put a ring around the top to bring these in slightly to, to stabilize the tops of them and a cat guard because our little furry friend over here and his other friends would just love to get in here so I am going to wrap it in tin foil to hold the light in so it's not such a distraction in the house and uh, I might have to put chicken wire around it as well to keep the cats out but we'll play it by ear see what happens so that's it for for this uh, little project for now we're gonna see how things are gonna start growing since uh, you know there's some starting already happening I even have some grain coming up so we'll see if I let that happen or feed it to the chickens or whatever's gonna happen here and uh, that's it for this uh, doesn't matter what size container you use uh, now that I've done this uh, with the grow light I could have gone to a, a 45 gallon drum, plastic drum, cut the bottom off, it's two feet across. Uh, it probably would have been better, a little more awkward to put in the house, but this uh, will do, it'll get the point across, and uh, that'll be it for this update for now. And uh, as usual, subscribe if you haven't, like if you like, thank you to all the new subscribers, for uh, showing an interest in this channel and I hope I can keep giving you good information. We'll talk to you soon.